Welcome to My New Day. Bob and I want to welcome you to this program. We know that you are fighting for your family. We want you to love your life with God. But sometimes there are steps we need to take to be intentional about getting the healing and the wholeness that God wants for us. And God has brought us the most amazing guest, Dr. Doug Weiss, to help us to really navigate through some of the hurt that happens after infidelity and betrayal. I love the solutions that he brings. Mm -hmm. we, we, we can, you know, so many times recognize and and see the pain and see the effects of it, but we don't need to live here. Right. You see, we, we want to journey to a place of wholeness. I yes. want to know and experience the redemptive love of God. I, I think when I take a look at love, mm -hmm. I mean, He loved me so much, but He loved me in such a way that He came to me and was willing to identify with me in my yes. pain yes. and not, not, you know, to leave me there. But th that's redemptive love is, is, is knowing that pain and then showing us a way out. Mm -hmm. And I think today, uh, you know, as the previous two programs in this series, you're going to begin to see some real practical steps yes. that work, that would journey you to begin to understand redemptive love, you know, and expressing that to one another. But this is your journey to wholeness and to freedom. Yep, the title of this series is called Helping Her Heal. We are specifically talking to women who have experienced infidelity, betrayal, or their husbands are watching porn or whatever it is. There are so many of us that need this kind of help. And and uh, Dr. Doug, welcome to the program. Well, it's good to be here. And um, for the first two programs, you can kind of recap what you did. On the first one, you really identified. Yeah, well, in the first program, we talked about, you know, getting truth, getting the baseline, moving through that. The second one, we talked about the grief and moving through that. Mm -hmm. And this one, I really want to take one of the segments. It's been probably one of the more powerful, pungent segments. And it's in disc two is the first one because it's revolutionary for a lot of men. Now, to set the stage, men and women think differently. <laughs> big shocker yeah, yeah, there, Big right? shocker, Remember right? This. Okay, yeah. all right. So when a woman's expressing her pain to her husband, his unintelligent response to that is, I understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no way in the world he understands that level of betrayal, pain, trauma, mm -hmm. hurt, rejection, fear, anguish, self-loathing that she's experienced. There's no way he has a clue what she's experiencing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing I tell men is never, never, never say you understand. Because as soon as you do, here's what happens. Your wife wants to be understood. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna teach you in a few minutes how to walk through this, so get a pen ready, okay? Mm -hmm. But what you wanna do is, if, if, if you're in a situation with your wife and she wants to be understood, okay, and you do something like that, you defend yourself or you just minimize it, what happens is you move above her, okay? And what happens is she wants to be understood. She wants you to stand under her and, and, and actually her. hold her weight. Yeah, wow. Until you are holding her weight, you're not understanding her. You may be Whoa, reasoning with her, you may be arguing picture. with her, okay, but you're not understanding her. She needs you to stand under her and hold her weight that she's actually feeling. Mm -hmm. Sit on the same bench she's in with the same view she has. You, that doesn't mean you agree with her, but you, you hang where she is. You under, you, until you feel her weight, you're not understanding her, okay? So, but if you don't go under and understand, then she's going to escalate to get where you can understand her. And it's going to be And then if you do it cycle. again, she'll keep escalating. And so this thing will go on for hours, days, or weeks, or years, mm -hmm. because all she's really wanting is to be understood. Right. Now, most, and your words are cheap yeah. when you say, I understand. Well, you, first of all, it's a lie. You don't, right. It's just a flat out lie. Okay. You don't understand unless you've been betrayed, hurt, and lied to, and hit like that. Yeah. You're clueless. Right. So to say that is quite arrogant. Yes. Okay. And your wife will remind you of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first mm -hmm. thing, you don't understand. Yep. And, and you have no defense for that because you don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't want to lie. So that's the worst thing you do. So I tell guys, don't do that. So, but, but if they'll follow the, this next uh, several points I'm going to give, it can really change the way they do this thing called pain. Okay, so the, the undergirding, the feeling of the weight, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, and again, as a guy, so what am I really doing here? Yep, we're walking it, through that. Okay, this is where yeah, we're yeah. going. This okay. is where we're going. Okay. Because I want someone to be able to do this today. Okay. Because his wife's been yelling at him, screaming at him, you know, you cheat on me, you're a liar, you look at porn, I hate you, blah, blah, Okay. He does not know what to do when the storm is moving toward him. Okay. And, and the less mature he is, the more painful this is for him because what he wants to do is run. Mm -hmm. Man, you're crazy. You're out of control. I'm, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm yeah, out yeah. of here. That's the last thing she needs. 
because she didn't get understanding, she got cowardice. Okay. So now she's going to track him down and she's going to amplify over there. <laughs> I've okay. seen it happen a million times. And, and so there's no place to run. Right. Okay. And so I teach guys is how to go into the storm. Okay. It's counterintuitive. Everything I'm suggesting is counterintuitive and it 100% works. Okay. okay. We're okay. ready. All right. So the first thing you do, okay, so she's, she's communicating to her is, is, is to try to understand her heart. Listen to her heart. Not what the words that she's saying. Listen to her heart. Is it afraid? Is it concerned? Is it overwhelmed? Is it frustrated? Okay. Try to understand her heart. And okay. that's, that's actually not listening to the words. Listening it's to someone's serious. heart is very different very than different. listening okay. to someone's words. But try to listen to her heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. And usually it's fear, it's hurt, it's anger, yes. it's rejection. Yes. And if a woman feels rejected, that's the angriest woman in the world. I mean, yes. you're just really going to push her button. Okay. Yeah. So try to feel... So the second part is to ask her what she's feeling. Because as you're listening, you're trying to hear her heart. Yes. Now, most guys are not really emotionally developed. And that's a new book I got coming out soon. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> but they're not really emotionally developed. So what you have to do is ask the question. Mm -hmm. Honey, what are you feeling? Now, your, your wife may be tempted that's to give you... That's a scary you, question. Right, it's a scary question. But it's one you don't know the answer to. So you have to listen to get the answer. Okay? And she may not know, but she'll give it a good shot. But what you want to do is ask her what she's feeling. And now what you're, what you're looking for is the feeling words. Afraid, concerned, overwhelmed, um, hate, yes. hurt. Okay? Don't listen to the facts of, I can't believe you did that. that, that. You know, she may do that. Say, okay, mm -hmm. honey, I'm asking you what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. I have the information you're telling me. I've got that. Yeah. But I don't have what you're feeling. Okay. Differentiate okay. that. So Determine that. what are you that. feeling? And she'll tell you, I'm feeling alone. I feel in pain. Mm -hmm. I feel loathing. Mm -hmm. I feel disgusted at you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. now we're now we're having a real okay. conversation because when girls are talking feelings, you're in the game. We're we're in a real conversation. That's why girls have girl talks. So they can talk about their feelings. Oh, absolutely. Guys like to talk about sports. Totally different gig. So, <laughs> so she's now sharing her heart with you. Yeah. Okay. So now we went from all this anger stuff to hurt, rejection, aloneness, confusion, fear. Okay, now the next step is really, 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 really hyper important. Okay. <laughs> so if you're writing, this is big letters, all caps, bold, circle it, okay? <laughs> Validate the pain. Okay. Okay, now let me take a side note and talk to the guys for a minute. When you validate your wife's pain, it does not mean you're agreeing with her being rational, that it makes sense, or that in any way you agree about what you're validating. You're just validating that's what she's experiencing. Some guys are like, well... I don't agree that with what no she's sense. feeling. Yeah. Right. No, that's not, your job's not that. It your doesn't say agreement. To, it says validate. Right. There's a big difference. Totally. Mm -hmm. Very good delineation. So yeah. you validate, honey, you do feel afraid. Right. Okay. Maybe I, if I'm I was hearing, you, And I would say, I'm hearing your heart here. Yeah. I, I hear that you're afraid, that you're, that you're feeling overwhelmed, that you really feel disgusted at my behavior. And uh, if I was you... I'd probably feel exactly the same way. Mm, that's the validation word you know, right there. Mm -hmm. You know, and and I just want to validate that those feelings you're having, they're, real. they're really real. Mm -hmm. And you're probably going to even feel them again. And uh, and that's really sad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, so then the next step is, okay, and see where we're going? And this shifts really quickly. Because I have some ladies, that are, they're just all angry and hurt. And, you know, they're just, they really are just A woman, when, you, it, when right? you validate, we have no, we, our defenses go right down. Totally. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. No. It's a miracle. It is. And see, I've seen when it. Guys, I have them. I have them watch a tape in my office on an intensive. I have them watch it. And I have them go home for homework and practice it with their wives. And I have their wives give them a grade on each point so they can get good at it. Oh, so okay. when the game happens, game's on. So even when they're not in crisis, you have them not practice? Not in crisis, I have them practice. Okay. So, okay, throw them something. Yeah. And then let them go through these five or six points with you and grade them on each point and give them grades. So tomorrow you can tell me how he did. Yeah. Okay? I love that. Because if he's got all Fs, I need to work with him. Right. If he's got an A, B, a C, and an A, okay, he's probably good to go. Yeah. But he needs to be able to validate the pain. If he can't validate the pain, when the game really happens, he won't be able to do it. He'll go into his own protection of protecting himself, making it about him, deflecting it, Blaming her or some other weird thing, shutting down. Oh, that's really helpful, right? <laughs> and so, <laughs> what will help in it, and what happened is when he's in the real game of the pain, yeah. he won't play well. Yes. Okay, so you practice when you're not in the pain, so that when the pain really happens and she really needs you, you're the hero. Yes. You're the rock star. I'm yes. here for you. This yes. is what you're, what you're feeling. Yeah. I validate your feelings. And the next part is, I take responsibility. Okay. I'm responsible for you feeling this pain. 
I caused this with you. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be crying. You wouldn't be afraid. Right. You wouldn't feel financially scared. Right. You wouldn't feel hopeless for the kids. Right. Okay, I did this to you. And you wouldn't feel ugly. Exactly. And you wouldn't Rejected. feel unwanted. Mm -hmm. right? I did that to you. I take full responsibility for that. And I'm sorry. Right. And, and I'm noticing something, Doug. You're looking deep right into, into my eyes, like, and that, and that you're very intentional right about that because I know as a woman that's really important because really important. eyes are the window of the heart. Yeah, I feel like, well, yeah, I did that to you, honey. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, like seriously, yeah, no, totally. but I, a lot of men don't do that. I've seen it happen. We've asked couples to do this, yeah, but they just don't have the courage. The it takes contact. so much courage yeah, yeah. to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm talking about is makes no a significant. Shifty eyes. Yeah, it makes. Mm -hmm. a, I mean, what I'm t teaching men here, Bob, is that it's this is the work you do after you've done the damage. And if you do the work, you're helping her heal. If it's still all about you, you're still the same selfish person. You're selfish differently now. And can okay. I also say that these tools are valuable for any Oh, this works husband. with teenage girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, I mean, what yes. I'm teaching you yes. is the keys to the kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. If you got a woman in your life, these six mm -hmm. points are... It doesn't necessarily betrayal or fidelity or anything like that. This, this, this is, is just woman talk. Stuff. This, this is, is good just stuff. relating yes. to a woman's heart. But if you've damaged a woman, this is like hyper yes. important. Oh, It's kind of like if, if you're... If we're talking about uh, offset, we we're talking about like a low sugar or no sugar diet. Right. Yeah. That's good for you just to be generally healthy. But if you're diabetic, it's imperative. Mm -hmm. So we're in the imperative area. Exactly. Okay? If you've done wounding, this is imperative skill to have. Excellent. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so you validate the pain, you take responsibility for the pain, and then the last point is is you ask her what she needs. Okay, what do you need? And she may say, I need more time. I need to be alone. I need you to hug me. I want to make love to you. It could be any spectrum of, you have no idea. And it's going to change every day. So one day she's like, give me a hug. The other day she's like, well, I really want to hit you, but I think I'll just go in the other room and just cry. Okay, right. whatever you need to do. I need a couple hours to, you know, go call girlfriends. Okay, go do that. And you need, as long as it's reasonable. I mean, cutting off your arm, not reasonable. Right. Okay. <laughs> But if it's reasonable, then do what it. What about separation? I need a month by myself. Without you know, I would say uh, in a situation like that, under the care of a counselor or a pastor where there's a, a clearly identified objectives, that could be reasonable. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, sometimes that's just an emotion. Yes. And it's like, this is what I feel and like. Sometimes it does more bad than good if it's yeah. not doing those things. If it's, not under, if it's not under accountability, then it's emotional. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If you're saying, I want a separation to heal, fine. I had a, a person in my office just recently with that. You know, I need a month or two just to kind of process what just happened to me. Yeah. It's not that I'm not staying married to you. I'm staying married to you. Yeah. But here's what I need. I'm, I'm only, I'll meet with you once a week. You can call me twice a week. I'm not abandoning the relationship. I need to work on me. I'm going to come do an intensive just for partners. We have that. To, yeah. And clear up my brain, get myself straight, and, and let's evaluate you in 60 days. And then I'm all in. You know, I'm all yeah. in. That woman, we're, she's under a counselor. Yeah. You know, there's really defined goals for herself. She's like, here's my list of things I'm doing for me. Here, you know, you got your list of your recovery stuff. That's fine. Uh, uh, I just want to leave, fine, go take a break, go get a coffee, come back in a couple mm -hmm. hours, let's mm -hmm. talk through what you need. Mm -hmm. But put it under authority, then you're probably in a situation where somebody's evaluating that separation. Yes, yeah. excellent. But when you, that's safe. That's safe. Mm -hmm. And But when you understand a woman, like Hadassah, she's brilliant, she's beautiful, she's smart, and she's passionate. She's, you know, she's got a lot of... Your daughter. Yeah, my daughter. Mm -hmm. But she's got a lot of my same strengths as far as she's very persistent. I mean, she'll argue until you want to cry. <laughs> you know, okay, and so I've got this this brain I got to work with, and this and this energy that's just endless. She's got those same blessings, right? <laughs> Thank you, and redemptive so blessings. It helps you reevaluate yourself, okay? <laughs> but when I but if, when she was a teenager, and, and knows you you know how the hormones are, she would get a little little emotional. I was able to just validate. What are you feeling, it as? Yeah, I feel really hurt by her friend or whatever. I said it's okay to feel hurt. I mean, if someone did that to me, I'd feel hurt. Yeah. You know, and just me validating that her hurt was okay, she didn't have to escalate. Hmm. And that's the power a man has in a woman's life. You know, and this is just good stuff for marriage, good yes, marriage stuff. Eventually, it is. And then in, in, in a book I'm writing on marriage right now won't give the title, <laughs> but I'll come back. Yes. That chapter's going to be in there. Good. Yeah. good. Because these points I see happen in very serious crisis situations of be effective. Mm -hmm. And when I have, actually have just average couples use them, you know, they're not really in pain. They're not dealing with infidelity or pornography or stuff like that. But I can teach a man how to understand his wife or his daughters. It's like miracle. <laughs> it is. Because when a woman needs you, she only needs you when she needs you. Right. Okay? And when she needs you and you're actually there, it goes like, you're a hero, man. Mm. You were there for me. 
Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. We went to that one together. And every woman wants to feel safe. She I'll say it safe. again yeah, and I'll, again. That's one of the primary needs. Yeah. And so when but my husband safe. feels that way, yes, I feel emotionally safe mm-hmm. when Bob validates me. When he says, when he just says very simple words like, I'm so sorry that happened. Mm-hmm. Instead, like if I'm not talking about mirror stuff, but just right. in general just when I'm hurt. Yeah, I'm just so sorry that happened. That's all I need from him. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. that's him saying, I see you. Yeah. I, 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 I care I about your pain. You. Mm-hmm. And I'm here for you. Okay. Yeah. And not that I can fix it. No. So for, for a guy. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, for, yeah, exactly. So for a guy in these five points that I have, mm-hmm. there's not one in here where they said, I'll fix that for you. Yeah, yeah right, right. Yeah, that's, know, not, that's not on the table. I'm, I'm taking responsibility, therefore mm-hmm. I'll fix it for you. No, you're serving. Yeah, you don't get to the, see, a woman has her own protocol for what she needs, and sometimes it's symbolic and insane. <laughs> okay. true. It's just true. I need you to make me a cake. Okay, honey, I'll make a cake. Whatever, okay. Often, I, you know what I need sometimes? And I don't mean that in any minimizing way. I'm just saying mm-hmm. sometimes it creates something no. that's very symbolic and, and, and you just go with it. As a woman, I have created something that I know that I need that I didn't even, I didn't even know how to articulate before mm-hmm. and I call it my love, value, and appreciate. Mm-hmm. I need you, because words are so important to mm-hmm. me, to give me a love, value, and appreciate. What do you sure. love, value, and appreciate about me? Yeah, that, I just need that The fact right that you now. can ask for that is huge. Well, I mm-hmm. ask for it instead of yeah, instead of making him guess. Yeah. Or, or, yeah, or, or, guess or, what it, I need, honey. No, <laughs> no but, but even if someone else or a situation has hurt me, it has nothing to do with him, mm-hmm. I can say, honey, I need this right now. Yeah. Love, value, and, and I remember one time I had gone through a, a hurtful thing and he, he got all over a certain part of my body. I love, value, mm. and appreciate this. And I went, no, that's not doing uh, it for me. I need something about my personality. Yeah, yeah. I was attacked in my personality. Yeah, that's what you needed to comfort. So I needed, to, I needed comfort there. Yeah. But he gave that to me, and it took two seconds instead of me telling yeah, me totally. about what hurt me so bad for half an hour. I don't bother him with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I just tell him what I need. But you're mature. A lot of women don't know that um, until you know what you feel, you can't identify what you need. Once you know what you feel, you can know what you need, right? So then you can communicate what you need and take responsibility for that. But oftentimes women believe that men are like God, that they can read their mind. Right, but I'm just giving you know, some women some really yeah, good hints Yeah, no, here. what you're doing is saying, hey, I really need you to validate my pain. Yeah, I just need to be validated in general. I need you just general. to listen yeah. to me for a half hour while I just spew out my crazy things in my head because of what you've done mm-hmm. to me. Okay, and if that would be a reasonable request. So she's like, you know what, I just need to vent for a half hour. Okay, okay. I'll give you the half hour. Let's do it. God protect my heart while she does yeah. this. <laughs> well, um, but then again, if the guys listen to the tape, he's like, anger is good. Yeah. I can't tell you many guys who said, that has saved my life. Yes. Because when my wife got angry before, I would get defensive and I would try to shut her down. Now, I just let her go. And because go, you know it's love. This is love, baby. Mm-hmm. This is what it this feels like. This is some like. passion this here. This is when you hit, when you <laughs> hit love. This is love on steroids. Love right? hits you back. <laughs> yeah. Right? And so, yeah. So, it's a very good thing. So, it's really full of a lot of real practical tools like mm-hmm. that, that men and women can walk through the pain that the you know, trauma like this causes. But it doesn't have to be the end of the story. Yes. This is a chapter in a movie. You know, sometimes the pain, some, some men and women try to make the pain a permanent photograph. It's not a photograph. It is only a slide inside of a movie. Mm-hmm. Okay? Exactly. It's a chapter inside of a book. It's a page. It's not, not the end of the, the story. End of the world. So you can go through the pain intelligently and, 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 uh, and, and hopefully kindly and patiently. And if you do, there's this other chapter that can open up where you both are heroes. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a hero that he's matured and he's taking responsibility, he's protecting his family. You're a hero that you've written the ticket emotionally, mm-hmm. spiritually, sexually, to to make this marriage continue to grow and prosper. And you both come out on the other end looking at a hero that you're more in love with. I love it. Now, did we get through all five points? Yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. It just like it worked perfect throughout this program. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I love, I love that. when that happens. I love it. You got an A+. Plus. Good. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> You're such a great, great help to us. Well, good. So many yeah. people. So thankful hope for here. what you do. So much hope here. Yeah. Uh, and just before we go to break, I want to go back to that picture of understanding. Mm-hmm. Because these are the five points where we are then able to move into a position yes. That's of feeling right. her to way, bring closure yeah, to you that. know, and, and to bring that under that understanding. Yeah. When you see what happens if you're here and she needs you to understand her. Um, if you will actually go under and and listen to her heart, validate. Let her let her yeah. tell you what she's feeling and validate that. When you're in the validating place, you're now holding her weight. Wow, and and I can. And when I, you're holding I, her mm-hmm. weight, she feels the release and she can let go. It's almost like a yes. it's almost like a, a release. Yes. And so now she knows you get it. You get me. 
we're good. And and Bob can tell when he can actually hold mm. me. He feels me just fall into him. Yeah, and, totally. And, and it is, it's a posture. It physically happens. No, it happens. And as a yeah. woman, I need to feel that. That's one of our needs is to feel held up. Yes. So that yeah. we can feel safe. Yeah. But and you've put it into a, a structure that so many of us can apply to our life. Yeah. And this, as as Doug has shared so well, needs to be practiced. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, it, it yeah. may it may feel extremely awkward oh, and strange, and but it's there, like just keep going there. <laughs> but there will know? be opportunities, small things. When I'm hurt, we can practice through Absolutely. these things. You know, with those who are watching. Help your husband to help to watch the show online, and so that he can understand. He will he'll feel so happy that he has a formula. I'm telling you, oh, yeah, this totally, is yeah. really good yeah, news. No, guys for men. like to practice before they play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, and 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 when you got a woman who's pain, if you don't practice, then the only time you get to practice is when she's in pain. Yeah, failing at that point is failing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you practice when she's not in pain, and you get good grades, you're more likely to be a hero when she actually needs you. Right. And then, mm-hmm. then it's good stuff. It is. Excellent. And another thing, you know, Doug's been a part of our life for many, many years. Yes. And one thing that he's helped me with yeah. just is knowing feelings mm-hmm. and emotions. Yes, mm-hmm. that's so true. Getting that list oh, yeah, and yeah, I've yeah. gone Thesaurus, through. Yeah. I've had to grow my vocabulary. Yes, totally. And I appreciate it. And it's very it. important. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's very healthy. Very <laughs> healthy. All right. <laughs> we do need to take a break. I can't encourage you enough. Yes. Please get a copy of this DVD series, Helping Her Heal. As well, we'll be back with Doug in just a moment to bring personal and practical application for each of us today. My husband reached out to Dr. Doug and ordered the DVD, Helping Her Heal. I never thought anyone could understand my pain after betrayal. The practical steps in this teaching finally brought us through. This DVD is practical, and I recommend it to anyone who's experienced pain from porn and infidelity. Now we have hope. Get your DVD of Helping Her Heal today. Order from our website or toll-free number. Your gift of $35 covers everything. The DVD, these three programs on CD and DVD, shipping right to your home. Plus, your donation is helping spread the word of God to thousands through my new day. Audrey and I want to say thank you for your response. You know, just writing a a letter or an email, but communicating back to us and letting us know the impact and the help that My New Day is to you. And Bob, we got this letter today and it's from Red Deer, Alberta, and says, my days are blessed more and more while watching your program every morning. Wow. We are so grateful to be part of your family and to know that we get to have this time together. Remember, you can view the program anytime you want at your convenience at our website, mynewday.tv. And as well, Audrey and I produce a daily email devotion. We really put our hearts out in these devos and you can (laughs) every day we just want to get a word from the Lord for you and pray for you so go ahead and go to our website or call our 800 number it's under free stuff and there it is to sign up for the daily Monday to Friday email we love keeping in connection with you that yeah, way thank you going on. Mm-hmm. How can you understand history? How can you understand what's going on in government? How can you, you know, uh, be able to sort this out and not freak out and not be deceived? Mm-hmm. But secondly, here, here, I think, which is the most important thing, I'm, I'm a solutions person. I am not interested in just throwing a bunch of information out there and saying, woohoo, you know, I hope I've impressed you. I, whatever, whatever we approach, whatever information we bring out, we've got to bring out solutions so that people have peace, people know how to walk through this. Over 10 years ago, Bob and Audrey wrote their first book, Marriage Undercover, bringing hope for wholeness and healing for tens of thousands of couples. Their passion for marriage and family has taken them around the globe. Crossing cultural and language barriers, the powerful message of God's redeeming love and grace through this couple continues to grow. Either seated with individuals or standing before the masses, people are walking free from bitterness and shame. These countries and cities represented homes and individuals who have discovered the ability of God to forgive each other and walk in truth and love, the kind only God can give. Unwilling to live victim to the pain of their past, Bob and Audrey have emerged with their greatest passion. With their transparent and vulnerable approach, they connect quickly with their audience, no matter what stage of life they're in, to offer solutions for hope and a future. Since 1976, New Day Ministries has sought to find ways of reaching behind closed doors to release the power of God's transforming love. 
Partner with Bob and Audrey, and when you do, you share in the reward of connecting individuals, marriages, families, and communities to the transforming love of God. This is fighting for families. This is you sharing the love of God to the nations. As we close today's program, Dr. Doug Weiss has helped us so much. And I was just telling him, usually at this part of the program, we like you to apply it to life, but this entire has. interview has been practical and personal and will really be key to helping you heal your marriage and your relationship. But um, here we are. Can we just absolutely, sum it up and absolutely. help us today? Yeah, what I would say is that, you know, even if you're not struggling with something big, this, this series is going to help you, especially the understanding that that eight minutes is totally going to change your life. But you have to practice, practice, practice. So take what you got today and just practice this with your spouse and see what happens. Okay, now if you do have bigger issues that you're dealing with, you know, definitely get the materials, work through that, get accountability, get, get what you need for you guys to both be heroes to save this marriage. You can do this. There's God, there's you two, and the three of you are indestructible as long as you're holding on to each other. And yes, sometimes it's gonna hurt, but hurt doesn't last. Mm -hmm. Then there's healing, and healing moves into strength, and strength moves into prosperity, not only for you, but for those around you. So for the sake of those in the future, hold on, dig deep, do the work, and then see what God does. Yeah. The, it's, as Doug was sharing here, you know, the healing moves into a wholeness, which results in a real prosperity. I want you to begin to see, you know, would you hear our voices and you're like, I don't, I don't know. No, no, there is. There is wholeness. There's a place of rest and peace for you in the future where you'll be able to rest in each other's embrace. It will happen. And I also just want to validate you, if you're a woman and you don't have a man in your life or you don't have a husband that will be willing to do this, I want you to know that Jesus wants to do this for you, to validate you today, that wow. you are not alone. It's very true. Oh, and I just pray, Lord, for that one watching, that you will begin to wrap your arms mm -hmm. of love around and begin to validate them wow. and let them just release and just find wow. comfort in your arms in Jesus' yeah. name. Amen. Wow. So important. Thank yeah. you, Audrey. And again, the series available from us. Uh, I anticipate great reports yes. from you. Yes. Thank you again to all of our New Day family and partners mm -hmm. who financially invest. We need You're your like, investment. hey, I want this word, this message to get out to everyone. Uh, as, you know, like us, you know, Dr. Doug Weiss is here because he's believing mm -hmm. for revival. Yeah. Revival in the family, in the home, in the church, in our communities and nations. We'll see you next time here on My New Day. Bye-bye.